Hey everyone, I'm just here to make a quick tutorial about a workflow tool that a company called Pixie has created. It's a great first place to start and I thought of some ways to modify it uh, to help those folks who have uh, who are just starting their businesses who aren't ready for a full workflow tool but who need some help staying organized. And I'll remind you that as soon as you start to have bad dreams about mismanaging and forgetting and not doing your client's payroll and all that, you're probably ready for a more robust practice management tool, but this would be a great little free organization method using free workflow tool from Pixie and uh, Google Sheets. So we're here on the landing page and you're going to scroll down here. Yes, I want access to the guide and templates. Put in your name, answer this last question. You can say um, whatever is appropriate for you. All right, you're gonna get this workflow guide. I would highly suggest reading it. It's going to kind of explain what a monthly workflow would look like. Um, after you've read it though, get all the way to page five and you're gonna download this free Excel template and that's what we'll work on. But make sure you read everything first before you get the free template from Pixie. It's just an Excel sheet. Pixie has a lot more robust software that you'll be able to use um, if you really wanna up your game. Um, and there's an interview that I did with Pixie on um, their full system and how it emails clients and how you work within it and you, it gives you monthly or it gives you reminders on like a task list at the right time that you set. So definitely check out that interview. I'll link to it below. Here's the Excel template. Come down here to the monthly bookkeeping workflow. Um, Right here in this column, column C, is going to have a great place for you to start with the steps to getting your clients' uh, books done. What I'm going to do is suggest you like copy this list and then go to a Google Sheet and paste that in. All right, so now we're in this spreadsheet. Now what I'm going to do is just, you need to think about how you're going to... Um, Update this for each client. What I would do is you could title this up here. Um, you're gonna call this, we'll call this first client workflow. Now, let's say, so start here. Uh, let's start with this list, but then let's add some stuff that you know you're gonna have to do. Um, maybe you want to, um, let's go insert a row. Maybe you need to run payroll 15th and in five months. Let's add a row here. Let's also say we need to check Gusto for any new contractor payments. And then let's add another one. This is something I do. Um, update debt tracking report for Here's something we can do on this request missing information. Put the Google Doc link that you're going to use. Um, that's one of the ways, well, actually, that's the way I do it. Is how you can buy fancy tools, but I just use a Google Doc that just kind of lives on, and I add a new worksheet each month. Um, and that's where I, I export my questions in the, that I have for, that are on. I export my uncategorized account in my chart of accounts and then I paste it into that Google Doc link. Um, and so having access to that particular client's transaction questions document, you could have it right there. Um, anything else you want to know, you can just you know put links here, maybe in column B, put notes in column C. All right, so that's what we've done. We can call this our workflow. Then, I got a couple of other ideas for you. Make another sheet. All right, I learned this trick from Amanda Aguilar. You could create a little diagram that uh, illustrates sort of the graphically the picture of this client. So I just created this sort of made up example. You got your general ledger in the middle, talk about what banks are connected to it, maybe what payroll you're using, if you've got a receipt management, maybe you have some stuff down here that is not, um, not connected to the GL, but you need to have a report, so that would be a good thing. So you could call this um, graphical represent graphical image. I don't know, something like that. And then come down here. I think you could also create a sheet called communication tracker. So on this sheet, maybe you could have a column here for 
Um, will you record the date and then notes or something like that? Um, you could have it be onboarding discussion. Maybe you can have cleanup questions. Um, I can create another tab here. You could create, um, I call it maybe access. Maybe you can create a link for bank one website, bank two website. Maybe you have to log in to um, a sales tax portal and you would have like your um, last pass or something where you would log in, but then you could put the, the URL for each of these in this column. So that way you always know where this client is working and where the links are for all those clients, I mean, for all those accounts for that client. Um, so I don't do this particular method for my clients, but because um, I've used Asana, um, which I do have an interview about that with Alyssa Lang about that because she has an Asana, whole Asana tutorial and that's where I have tried to move. Um, Asana is free um, and I learned how to do it that way. but. This would be a great first way if you've got one, two, three clients, you know, um, this might be all you need to keep every track of everything. All right, so let's summarize here. We've got go to the link below in this description to get that link to Pixie to that workbook. Then uh, tailor that Excel, on page five, tailor that Excel file to your particular client. Every client's gonna be different, but it's just a good starting place, that list that they have and then add any extra worksheets you need and then just have this as your sort of hub of information that, where you need to put all your information that you have to remember for this client. Um, I will say that that link below from Pixie um, is an affiliate link that they've given me. It's when I did the first interview with them, they would, were interested in tracking how many um, potential customers came from the Bookkeeping Side Hustle group. Um, so if you ever end up purchasing Pixie, uh, I think I'll get credit somehow. I don't know how long the links work, but um, always want to have full disclosure on that. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you have any improvements, comment below um, that people can read and maybe think of another tab to add below um, or any other ways that you have created a great sort of free, uh, very beginner workflow management tool. And don't forget, you can't do this forever. You can't keep it all in your head for forever. So when you do, uh, reach back out. There's lots of practice management tools out there, and you'll get lots of advice from different people. Pixie looks like a great, robust one that um, would probably make your life pretty easy and will save you lots of time. So make sure you watch the interview I did with Jordan from Pixie um, in spring of 2021. They're always updating. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. That's it for today.